Hi y'all. Hi guys. So we in Miami. This was not the destination for today. This is supposed to be a stop on the way to the destination. And yeah, our first flight had issues and so it got delayed, which made us miss our second flight. And that was the last flight to our destination. So we are stuck here in Miami. And I know it doesn't sound like a place to be stuck, but I was hoping to get to our destination before my birthday and it doesn't look like we're gonna get there until on my birthday. So I'm just happy to be going still because it has been a day. Like, I'll show you guys my view of our hotel. We're staying at the Sheraton, which is right beside the Miami airport. So yeah, so this is the view. And then you can see like Skyline. I don't know what city that is over there. Cause I thought Miami is over that way. So maybe that's Fort Lauderdale, I think. Not sure, but yeah. Hi guys. So we rented a car um, just for the day. And we're gonna drive it back over tomorrow and we're all headed out. So we rented an Audi. What's this, a Q3? I don't know what this is. I think it's a Q3. I'm loving it. Quattro? Sure. I think it's a Q3. I've never rode an Audi before. I don't know much about Audi. So that's why we picked it. I was like, oh, let's just get an Audi. So, yeah. Let me move my strap. But yeah, so we're going to head to go have dinner. And maybe drive around downtown Miami. Because... I don't think I'll ever be intentionally in Miami again. Um, nothing is Miami. I just don't think I'll intentionally be back in maybe a while, but yeah. So we're gonna go get dinner, drive around a little bit, be a little nosy. Are you excited, babe? Yeah, I'm excited to go to bed, honestly, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, we've had like the longest day. Like our flight kept getting delayed. First off, we should have known that 40 some minutes between the two flights was not enough but it's only two flights from Miami to Carousel so we was like the first one's at 10 a.m. and it lands 10 something and it lands at like 1 p.m. in the afternoon so when we booked it we didn't book the individual flights we just booked like the whole thing to get us there so this morning we were looking at it and it first got delayed steve was like i think we're gonna miss it and i was like don't say that don't be negative we'll be fine we'll be fine do not worry about it we missed it by like 30 minutes like we landed in miami at 12 30 and the flight took off at 1209 and we were passing it going out as we were coming in because we could see what gate was on the app for that flight so this is not hot plan for my birthday to go or to start but i'm gonna make the best of it it's a new city i like to explore so it's not all negative right yeah this is sunroof yeah <laughs> this car is really nice i'll show you guys real quick um what it looks like i'll show you when we get to where we're going because we're still in the garage so it's kind of dark but yeah
to a restaurant, you guys, in Little Havana. We just took a tour of downtown Miami. But look at this. I didn't sleep well last night. Um, I think because we're not at our destination yet. Like, I'm not sleeping well. But yeah, we're about to take the rental car back, catch our flight at 10. It is now 7.30. Yeah, 7.30. Um, I'll show you guys the car because it looks better here. But yeah. So this is the front, the seat, the back seat, the trunk. And then this is the panoramic sunroof, palm trees. Yeah, this is Miami. Hey guys, so it's been a minute. Um, back in the room, I hadn't picked you guys up since yesterday, but it's been crazy. Like we landed, we got the rental car, came straight here, had to sort out a whole bunch of stuff with like the booking. And then we finally got our room and I had dinner and took my birthday pictures, which I'll insert here. Okay. So y'all, they brought me this for my birthday. I already started eating on the strawberry one. <laughs> and that leaves us to this morning. We had breakfast. And now we're about to head to the dolphin experience, which I'm excited about. Are you excited? Yep, let's go swim with the dolphins. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you guys my little outfit of the day too. Um, so this is my outfit. And then Babe is semi-matching. And he has our like water shoes in his hand, but mm -hmm. yeah, we're about to go swim with the dolphins, swim with the dolphins, yep. <laughs> Driving right by the water. Bingo around. behavior they're all going to partake in guys <laughs> Hi guys, you're looking at two tired people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, we went and swam with the dolphins. Not really swim. The water was like, what, knee deep? Yeah, a little bit hard. Knee, knee deep. deep, yeah. And we got a kiss on the cheek. Mm -hmm. I'll show you guys our pictures because we bought the digital copy. Then we decided, oh, we're near Mumbo Beach. Let's go walk over there because there's a restaurant that I wanted to try. We walked over there. And it wasn't even, what, a mile? 
point two of a mile. Point two of a mile, and we are both exhausted. Like I have a nice little tan. Like he is burnt. We bought sunscreen, put on him, and he's still burnt. Mm -hmm. But it's nice. I got a little. I'll show you guys a little few clips of what like what I got like from Mongolia. So we traveled to Kimchi. Read about it. Local cuisine. So I have fish soup. And my fish coming out. Soon. Eating local. We were supposed to hang out there the rest of the day, but we're both just like, I'm ready to go back to the hotel. I'm so tired and it's hot. So we came and sat in the car. And yeah. Riding along the beach. See the water like right there. People coming from ATV driving in a different country, you guys. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? We have yet to see a stop sign. We see like signs like this, and I'm just like, who gave us a car? <laughs> they didn't have to do anything. We see yield a lot, but I have yet to see a stop sign. Something wrong with the brakes, you said. Can you hear me making noise like back there? So peaceful. Fancy restaurants over there and it's casino over there. You cannot tell me the same life. So it's been a minute since I vlogged, but um, it's day, full day two. Last night we went and saw a show. Um, trying to think what else we did. And then we came back here. Um, yeah, everything's going pretty good so far. But um, today we're headed to Williamstad and the museum. Oh, the bridge is moving really bad. I'm like ready to get off. <laughs> but it's beautiful here. What do you think? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's very beautiful. That's pretty. the bridge we were on yesterday, you guys, and we could see down here. As everyone talks about KFC in other countries, it's so good. So I'm about to try it here, and we're gonna let you know. What it looks like we just got two pieces and a biscuit and a drink. We tried the mana something. But yeah. See why people pick up animals. We, don't, we fed him a little bit and he just laid down by our side. Now we have to leave and he's like watching us go. It's so sad. He's just stray. So we just finished our KFC. And what do you think? What did you think of it? Uh, I think the chicken tasted better. Yeah, the chicken tasted better. Better. The biscuits taste the exact same. And the banana drink was pretty good too. We still have some of that left. I think the chicken 
tastes like early 90s KFC. Like, if you had KFC growing up, like I did, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, it don't taste like that now. Like, the flavors, the chicken juiciness, it remind me of the early 90s KFC. So, I would say... I would say I would give it maybe a 6 or a 7 out of 10, but I get a KFC in America 0. So, <laughs> so I think that's pretty good. What do you think? What would you give it? Um, I don't know because I don't really eat KFC. Because KFC in America is just, to me nasty. Yeah, but what would you give that? Uh, probably a 6. Yeah. It wasn't the absolute best, but it was it wasn't KFC back home. So I guess that's our new thing. We're gonna try KFC in different countries. Cause after I heard that, I was like, hmm, I wonder if it's true. And so now that I know it is, we definitely gonna try it in other places. All right, so it's like 12:30. I'm late in the day, but I'm about to mail these postcards. Steve has one for his parents. I have one for my auntie, and then I have one for ourselves. That's the one we're gonna mail straight to our house to see if we get it. So I thought it was a really cool idea. Um, and so this is what we're about to do. Put these in the post office box. Um, yeah, on the other side. And we got the dates and the house down. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Post office box. You wanna record? Can we hold it for you? Yeah. <laughs> and this is like the Renaissance. Renaissance Hotel is over here somewhere. But this is their little shopping mall. So we're gonna walk around a little bit, you know, nosy. Okay. And this is the fort. Yeah, really cool area. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Cute. It is beautiful view, guys. The building's moving a little bit, but it's beautiful here. Everything's so beautiful. Music playing, ocean hitting the rocks right here. Living life. The float market. It's right on the water. We have everything. You think of food, bags, souvenirs. Got our souvenirs. Queen Emma Bridge opening to let boats through. Pretty cool. And the bridge is on the second place. Going right back in. Pretty cool. Hey, we're at the beach. We're both like hot and tired. It's like a private beach. Let me show you guys what it looks like. The beach for our hotel. All the cabanas, and we're sitting in the chairs. Our matching sea suits. <laughs> I have a bar over there with food too, so just chilling. So we're headed to Klein Connect. It's about 40 minutes away from the hotel. Um, it's supposed to be the prettiest beach on Carousel, so we shall see. I brought my snorkel here too, and my GoPro, so yeah. Hi guys. So we're at, where are these places? Pine Connect? Yeah, yeah. Pine Connect. About to go swimming and snorkeling. I'm in snorkel gear. Ready to go. Ready? Yeah, go with the GoPro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to convince him to use my snorkel gear, guys. He does not want to use it, but it's so beautiful out here. So beautiful. <sighs> <laughs> That's a drop off. There's a bunch of fish like around all over. That's what I'm looking at. There's a bunch right here. Okay. One right here, two right here. Right here.
snorkeling, looking for the fishies. She's going way up there, though. Going way up there. Oh. Yeah, rocks, stuff. Oh, really? Mary's almost dead, five percent. Not good. What? Not good. No batteries. <laughs> <laughs> About to go put it up, honestly. It's so cool. Huh? I said it's so cool down here. Oh yeah. You yeah. want to stay here all night, huh? Yeah, I want to stay, you guys. <laughs> 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 Should we come back and just do this? Yeah, just snorkel. Snorkel and fun. enjoy the beach. Yeah. Try and find some fish. I thought about going back to um, Pine Connect where we went yesterday. Because um, that water has so many fish while you're walking. I think here you have to go like way out there on the edge. Yeah. But you know, we might try to come out there before we leave. So, having fun, babe? Oh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Water is nice. Like, you can literally my body's a little bigger and you can see my body. It's crazy to me. Like when I read online, when I read online it said like most beautiful beaches. Like I didn't realize it was this beautiful. But like yeah, really beautiful. Like, getting out for food. Now it's like our fun fish are matching. So we moved places to see if there are more fish on this side. A lot of more people. More fun over here. So it's so pretty, y'all. Uh, look at this rock and the sun. Keep my foot and then we go out the water. Look at this. So nice over here. What do you think, babe? This is awesome, too. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Oh, I see another right here. 
Yeah, it's a oh, bad. Oh my god, a few more things. Yeah, it looks like that was all back down. Mm -hmm. So this is Casabal and its prettiness. So beautiful. So I think that everyone says Tan Canep is the prettiest. I think they're both beautiful in their own. Like, I would come Casa Bao probably like three, and then I would go to Tan Canep at five after it's closed when nobody's there. So we did that yesterday. It was maybe like, probably like 10, 20 other people there late like that, and it was so nice. And so many fish everywhere. Everywhere you went, there were fish everywhere, just swimming around you, swimming. And it was beautiful to see. So I would say, I don't know. I still like Klein Connect more. What do you think? I don't know. I like this one a lot too. Though. Yeah, I like this one a Both lot. It's are, not like I don't like this one. Both are beautiful beaches. They are very beautiful, both of them. I don't know. I guess it depends. This is what how to leave Casa Bell, y'all. Literally driving through the terrain. But one thing I did notice about here is there's so many cacti. Like so many everywhere. And it's pretty in its own little way. Like it's... Maybe Arizona is like this. I don't know. I haven't been. Um, but it's so beautiful in its own little way. Don't tear the bottom of the car off. I showed him like the footage that I took because he doesn't put his head underwater. So, and it was like, it looked like hundreds of them just swimming around in a circle around us. Very beautiful. So y'all, this is the airport. It's so pretty and then if you look over here, you can see the water over there. But yeah, maybe I have a sandwich. I'm trying to figure out what I want. His looks good though. 